integrated sugar with Zoom. Zoom's a leader in meetings, chat, and secure connections. From our integration, we can schedule, edit, launch Zoom meetings right from within the sugar meetings module. We can also record and report on our Zoom meetings and activities uh, either by entering our notes manually into the meetings module as many of us are used to or also recording uh, reporting on Zoom meetings by period and by user as well. The features of the Zoom integration. We can create our Zoom meetings from directly within Sugar without having to change apps. We can send out invite emails to our Sugar contacts to connect them to our Zoom meetings. We can also launch our Zoom meetings directly from Sugar without again having to switch apps. And we can edit or delete our Zoom meetings, including adding uh, additional invites to the meeting uh, anytime along the way. We integrate with the Sugar meetings module only at the moment. However, the integration is very intuitive and easy to use. As a side note, Quite interesting statistics you see on the left hand side of the screen here in December 2009 daily user statistics were around about 10 million come March 2020 for reasons we don't need to go into that's jumped to 200 million plus and you can see also the zoom daily downloads have increased dramatically this year so it's a no-brainer that we want to connect zoom functionality into our CRM especially if we are a sales team heavily invested in the meetings module and conducting a lot of our business from there. Without too much preamble, I'd like to jump straight into the demonstration. Creating a Zoom meeting from Sugar CRM, as I say, it's a very easy and intuitive process. Just like we're used to creating meetings in Zoom, coming into the meetings module, uh, on create, we would simply start typing the subject of our meeting. The location field will be populated by the Zoom link. However, we could put it in our description. We can our meeting type from the drop down menu here as Zoom. However, we don't necessarily have to take that step. We click the Create Zoom Meeting button up here. The logic hook will automatically populate that. And via this field, that's one way we can report on the number of meetings being uh, conducted in Zoom at a company or user level. As we normally would, add our invitees as guests here. We may want to relate this to a specific contact, account, case, whatever works best for our business model. And let's make sure that this is a forward date and a meeting. As simple as that. We get a couple of notifications here. We have a succession that the Zoom event was created in the CRM itself. Also, that we have scheduled the meeting within the Zoom app itself and that the invites have gone out to our guests. If we've made an error, we want to go back and change something or fix something up or indeed add a new contact just as we normally would. Add a new contact in there. Now you'll notice the Zoom button has changed and we've got the drop down menu available to us. From here, we can directly launch the meeting. We, if this was pre meeting type, say a sugar meeting type, we could then create a Zoom meeting and that will populate it with the Zoom link and populate it in our Zoom app calendars as well. Or in this case, I just wanted to add a invite intent attendee. So simply update the Zoom meeting and that new attendee will be receiving their invite via email. 
come out of here and back into the meetings list view. You can see here now that we've got the location field in our list view. We've configured this in our list view so it's viewable as default. So I can come here on a daily basis, see my meetings, and from this space I can click in and launch any of my Zoom meetings, or of course I can do other colleagues or whatever the case may be. Earlier, this is how the email is received by the attendee invites, invitees. It has all the relevant information that they could require, i.e. the meeting URL as a link. And they can accept the meeting, tentatively accept the meeting, or decline the meeting, just as you can on more Zoom invites. To add this event to their calendar, they simply need to click the attachment, confirm that they have to do so. That brings up the event creation dialogue in Outlook and save and close this, it will populate to my calendar. It is as simple as that. Very easy to use, very intuitive. 